Hey, what's going on, Atlanta Falcons fans, NFL fans? This your boy Antoine Smith, 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 Sports Machine. Y'all know how to get down. Y'all know how to do it. Go ahead and press that subscribe button. Also, press that notification bell to get my videos as soon as they drop out. would greatly appreciate it. But I'm going to take y'all a blast to the past. And a lot of y'all might not remember this, but it came across my mind for some strange reason. You know, I'm an old school guy. Like my throwback players. So, I'm going to give y'all my thoughts on Jeff George. Now, a lot of Falcons fans don't ever say anything about this guy because the two plus, well, the two season three games that he was here, um, I think, you know, he could have been better than what he was. And I don't know if it was the time and the coach, the offense. Well, it couldn't have been the offense because. The run and shoot uh, for a guy like Jeff Jordan, that arm strength and talent that he had, I think it was the perfect offense. We've seen the offense ran in Houston under Warren Moon and what it could have been. Um, I don't think June Jones got the, you know, quality out of that offense that he could have had because if you look at the type of talent that they had at wide receiver back then, I think, they should have been a little bit better than what they were, but June Jones, I don't think he ever had a grip on things. Um, you look at 1994, uh, he had a great season here. Uh, not our world, through 18 interceptions, but, you know, a lot of those were forcing the ball and ended up 79, so it didn't work out. Next season, 1995, is when the light clicked. I think that was is not statistically Jeff George's best season in the NFL, but to me it was. Uh, the Falcons had three receivers to have a thousand yards. Two of those receivers nearly had ten touchdowns. So the offense worked. You know, the second season that he was here, um, I love to watch. You know, him sling the ball because you think of arm talent such as Brett Favre, John Elway, Dan Marino, Jeff George is right there. And for the run and shoot offense to click, that's the type of quarterback that you had to have. Now, that third and final season, he only played in three games. Everything fell apart with him and Joan Jones. He did not finish the season. And on top of that, you know, it was the end here in Atlanta. But those, you know, games, I think uh, the Falcons had quite a talented quarterback, but didn't put the right talent around him. Uh, he had Craig Hayward and running back back then. Uh, not, you know, throwing shade over Craig Hayward, but you have to look at, you know, what type of running back is needed in that system. So that Atlanta Falcons period, those two plus years, um, I think they could have been better, you know, well planned by the organization. Jeff George was a great talent. Couldn't keep his head on straight. I get that. But if the Falcons put better talent around him, I felt like, you know, it could have turned out a little bit different. That 1995 season showed us that when he had over 4,000 yards passed. So those are my quick thoughts. Drop your comments and questions in the box. Let's debate. Let's have fun as always. Tell me what you think about Jeff Jordan and his short time here in Atlanta. I think it was uh, pretty interesting and could have been better, but I want to hear what you got to say. 
I will catch y'all on the flip side. Thank y'all for tuning in. It's your boy Antoine Smith-Smith. I'll see you. Peace out.